At the beginning of the 1970s, a time when thousands of young men were being sent each week to fight in the steamy jungles of Vietnam, a short stretch of coast on the island of Oahu, Hawaii, was emerging at the center of the surfing universe. Surfing reflected sort of a counterculture idea. The image that came out of the Summer of Love era was that surfers were uh, really druggies. <laughs> And then this new group came along and said, no, no, we're not going to do that at all. In fact, we want to make surfing into a sport. And everyone turned around and just went, they want to do what? There was no such thing as pro surfers, because you couldn't make a living from pro surfing. You had this irrational group of kids, and they walked into this town just going, hey, we've got some new moves, we've got some new boards, we've got some new attitude. Why? It was a two-fold mission. It was one, I wanted to rip it, and two, I wanted to get famous. Something was getting ready to launch, and then all of a sudden, there it was. We said we were good. You know, we were number one. It's indisputable. You know, this whole thing of trying to break in and establish a sport, it took a very, very strong attitude. Well, they'd write articles about how we're here, you know, we're the kings of the sport. And this brash attitude of screw the establishment, we're going to go for whatever it takes to get what we want, it rubbed people the wrong way in Hawaii, without a doubt. They just really wanted a big slice of pie. The problem was they wanted too big of a slice of pie. They did it for nothing, you know, they did it just for the, uh, the love of surfing. It's timeless stuff, you know, it's stuff that will probably never be repeated. Well, they came here at a time when I was pretty wild, you know, more rough than it is these days, like the Wild Wild West. Ian writes a headline on my column, Aloha is dead. There was a pride, a pride at stake here. I went to Wahiwa and bought a shotgun, man. I bought a 12 gauge and slept with it by my bed. They could not do it anyway. And I was in exile and with no future and with no way in and with an entire island that hated me.